Hey, Jason Kissel here. I just wanted to uh, share with you uh, some cool stuff about Classroom Screen and just some ways to maybe, uh, I don't know, create some cool videos or just maybe some features you weren't aware of. And uh, yeah, I th I'm going to try to do these little short form videos, I think, for a little bit here and try to make one a week on some interesting things that I've seen come across my plate. Maybe not practically, um, you know, but five minutes or less, you can pick up a little something if you like the product. So Classroom screen, I guess they've got a pro feature. I didn't really know that. I uh, used it in my classroom a few years back. It was really basic, but I liked it for what it was. Um, if you've got like a stylus and a device, you know, that you can kind of get up to the to the main screen. That's pretty cool. So uh, when you load, that's an awesome background. Uh, you can just change the background right here. So uh, I recommend just going random color. But here's what's really cool. I mean, if you're doing something and you need to show your webcam for whatever reason, or you have like a dot cam, um, you can just pop that in right here, right? So if you have, if you do have like a dot camera, like mine's a dot camera, right? Um, you can just pop that in as the background. So you can kind of show whatever's happening right there as a big webcam, which is pretty cool. But I'm just gonna go with black background here. Um, they've got a random name generator. So if you just type in a bunch of names and choose, um, pretty cool you can you can generate random names and I, what i like about this is you can create a bunch of different widgets and you can just have them all hanging out on the screen right uh, i actually like when the buttons are just the buttons all right and so you can kind of click through these right little dice some some other things this qr code thing is super cool to me uh, so right now it's just going to classroom screen, but let's say there's a website you want the kids to go to and they can just hold up a device or, you know, if you need to generate, even if you need to just generate a QR code, right? You come in here, you type in the URL. All right. So let's say we're going to go to some website, you know, and slide me a little bit. Okay. And up here it says show URL, show title. So title would be like, um, step three, complete the assignment here all right and so that is going to show up on uh, maybe i put in too many words but you get the picture that you can have some words up there or you can show the url you can also change the background color um, and then if you want you just right click or two finger click and save the image or copy the image and then you've got a qr code right so pretty cool way to generate qr codes if you need to um, all right slide me back down <laughs> Uh, the media thing is unbelievable to me. Obviously, throw in an image of YouTube, put your webcam in, which again is really cool because like I can just throw myself up in the corner. Uh, this could be a really great way to make a little dynamic video that just looks a little bit different, right? So if you're looking for a different format other than Screencastify, which is obviously what I'm using with this little video down in the corner, um, and you want a different kind of format, like see how you can make yourself a little bit different, and then you can have. Uh, some stuff and then just use a screen recorder without the webcam on top. So still use the microphone through Screencastify, but I could just have that. So I'm just going to keep myself up there. Um, see, look, I can just close this out and you still see me, which is really, really cool. And if I'm not clicked on it, it just is the uh, video. And then I can bring in another media. It's not like I can only have one. The embed feature is really cool. This is really helpful for you. Learn how to use if you if you've never embedded something before. Um, it's, it's a really easy article, but if you can see here, they've got Google Docs, FET Simulations, Desmos, Genially, um, and then I'm going to use a Google Slide presentation, so I'm just going to go to File. Um, you have to find the embed code, which in Google presentations would be under Publish to the Web, uh, and then I'm going to go to the embed, and I'm just going to copy this whole thing, and I'm going to paste it back in my classroom screen. Click Run Code. <laughs> this is so cool to me. And now I've got this widget of my Google Slides. I can resize it so that you can see them better. Um, so if I'm teaching something here and I want to be able to go through my slides, but I don't want to have to go back and forth, or if I want to have my slides that are static, you know, on one on one part of this, um, maybe I'm done with this QR code. So I just pitch that. And maybe I want to show an example or write some text over here. I can create a text widget or I can create a drawing widget. All right. And so now the in, it, I feel like the possibilities here are kind of limitless um, where now I've got this drawing feature. So if I have something that I can draw on pretty easily, um, I can, you know, explain some more work based on this slide presentation or whatever I'm doing. Right. Um, and then you've got some other stuff like a timer, a stopwatch, a clock, um, some pretty cool stuff there. And you can also just hide this. Right.
Um, and then under your settings, let's say at the end of this, you, you really like this display and you're like, man, I want to keep that. It was really cool. You just click this settings gear right here. Settings gear is everywhere, right? So usually it's like changing the background and doing a couple different things, right? Um, you can just download it right here as a PNG. Boom, done. And you'll have your image. So that's it. So I, I, I don't know. It just seems like a really cool tool. Like you've got some really awesome backgrounds here. I mean, teaching kids how to use a clock and you've got some, um, you know, that to me that is awesome, right? Right there, I can just teach how to use a clock. Um, I could have some slide deck that is explaining some content, and I could be doing that over here. And again, you can change the background color to whatever you want. Um, so you can theme that up, pretty cool. Um, if I do have a pattern, I believe I could just change the background of the pattern, right? Um, I can add an image in as well. So uh, it's cool stuff, it's all free, and uh, just runs right off the web, classroomscreen.com. Check it out.